I don't want to add to any memes, but all I can do is associate my experience with facts. Ah! Whenever you walk down certain hallways around the Nintendo booth, there <laughs> were smells that I could not associate with any Hear other part me. of the show. Uh, and it was, it was, it came to the point where me, Simmons, and Jessica would avoid that place entirely, and we would go all the way around. Well, there were some smells, yeah. And it, it was, was, yeah, the competitive, the and competitive I'm sure, standby line people, woo! Excuse me, sir. I hope my horrible smelliness won't be a distraction to you. Not at all, boy! <laughs> Poor hygiene and Smash players. These two things seem to go hand in hand within the Smash Brothers community. Whether it's players who reek of the most horrific scents, entire venues that should be quarantined for their toxic odors, or just sickening stories of the bizarre and gross acts done by players. There's been a stigma circulating around about smelly Smash players and how commonplace they are. I'm going to be breaking down many of the most repulsive instances involving these unwashed Smash players, ranging from big events and star players to specific stories told by members of the community themselves. And before I continue, I just want to say I'm a fan of the Smash community. I'm in many ways in it. I'm friends with many players. Don't take what I'm saying too personally, but seriously, some of you need to take a shower. First, let me set the scene for how Smash tournaments generally work. On the smallest level, there's usually a local scene in most major cities or regions. The next level above that are large tournaments specifically held for Smash, like Apex and Genesis. And above that, you have large international events that host a variety of games, including Smash Brothers. These are events like DreamHack, GamesCon, and Evo. All of these events are attended by serious competitors, casuals, and spectators alike. In dissecting the disgusting plague of foul odors within the community, Let's start with some of the major events and the stories that have come out of those. Rubber Ninja of Game Grumps made a comment on r slash gaming talking about his experience. When I was visiting America, I got dragged along to one of the big Smash Brothers tournaments being held in Northern California. Oh my god, everyone there smelled so bad. Every day they rocked up to the tournament in the same clothes. In fact, the entire room just stank like hell. Going out to stand by the people smoking was like getting fresh air in comparison. Another tale from Reddit comes from a post titled, I'm at my first tournament. Why don't people shower? I was standing next to a guy who smells like a rancid piece of ham. Edit. Faced a little girl. Feel guilty for winning. The situation is so bad that there have even been attempts to create hygiene guides and instructions for players who apparently don't know the basics of self-care, like this Reddit post giving out hygiene tips, and this tweet from Melee Player Tafa where he says, Going to be writing a Summer of Smash mini guide for all of you that are interested in traveling. Hashtag deodorant. Venues used for Smash have become notorious for their foul smell. One tournament organizer from Tallahassee, Florida, issued this statement to attendees at his local scene. At the price of losing a bi-weekly tournament, we cannot afford to have the place smelling terribly as it has been, being labeled by some to be stinky day when tournament day comes around. You know those Florida players are going to have a special kind of musky scent to them with all that Florida swamp ass. Some tournament organizers have even taken matters into their own hands, like this guy from NorCal who made a post on Smashboard stating, I'm implementing a professional rule, which states, in short, I have the right to DQ you if it's clear that you are not keeping up with your hygiene. I suggest other tournament organizers do the same. And immediately, the original poster was met with criticism. Yup, big f you to people who can't afford everyday showers. One of the major Smash Brothers events, Big House 4, actually added in their official rules that entrants must take a shower. Our event security includes a bouncer at the door who won't hesitate to refuse entry to anyone who has a personal hygiene issue. This isn't a joke. And finally, a friend of mine and Smash player Bear shared with me his personal story of putrid smells at one of these events. Yeah, so a couple months ago, I went to an event called DreamHack Atlanta. It was a really, really big convention center. And eventually, I made my way over to the Smash area because I really like to watch Melee. Well, inside the event, they were they were cooking like hot dogs and burgers. It was pretty smoky in a lot of areas. So eventually, I started walking up to Smash, and the smoke was immediately being replaced by this new, just rancid smell. And it was very just disgusting. 
and like it's indescribable how bad it really smelled and it was just so disgusting and I eventually just left and never went back to that corner but I was just amazed by how bad one section can smell just by the Smash community. Going deeper than these general events, these next stories and incidents come from specific cases involving individual players. Smash Ultimate seems to have brought upon a new breed of gross gamers. At an event hosted by Collegiate Star League, a K rule main of all things, way to give us a bad name, was seen drinking some unidentified fluid directly out of an Elmer's glue bottle. But sometimes things go even beyond the lack of personal hygiene. In some instances, there are players who lack basic potty training. A smasher actually shit their pants mid-set at the monthly last night, in utter disbelief. Money! Excuse me? What the f***? Did they keep playing through it? Yeah, played through it, won the set, left after. I didn't go, but everyone said that the venue reeked like shit. The smelly situation has gotten to a point where even the upper echelon of the Smash community, the pro players, the community organizers, even they are unable to ignore how out of hand and incidentally out of deodorant these players apparently are. Evo champion and prominent melee player Leffen even had some concerns about the lack of deodorant in Smash tournaments. Damn, this anime con slash Smash tournament is in desperate need of a deodorant sponsor, haha. <laughs> Interestingly, there even seems to be some debate within the Smash community regarding how much people should be expected to shower. Pro Smasher Anti tweeted out that showering every other day isn't normal. Instead, people should do it every single day. But Super Smash Shirts challenged this claim, stating that actually showering every day is bad for you, somehow. And quite frankly, this makes me call into question the cleanliness of the shirts they are selling. But even if players manage to shower, it's not always enough. Smash commentator Kataro points out how smelly clothes and, once again, the lack of deodorant, still causes foul odors. Streamer Dominic B tweeted, For Smash Bros. Melee Evo Finals, they should just have a judge smell the top player to see who actually took a shower and wore deodorant. Please! Pack deodorant! Yo is learn every f***ing true combo except one of the most important ones! Soap combos! Directly into water! Two stock your odor Your f***ing is sitting here worrying about character tears when your f***ing hygiene is bottom tier! Clean yourself! Wash your nuts! Deodorant! Is anyone else sensing a theme here? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That dude. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> what the Smashers, dude. We're having way Come too much on, fun Chet. right now. I reached out to former Melee streamer and semi-pro player Coffee Black, who shared with me his haunting experience at a local Smash tournament. And the worst story I have of a Smelly Smasher is from a weekly a few years ago. So I was the first one there, and it was in the basement of a bar, which was a pretty big room. As people started to come in, I noticed that it started to really fucking smell in that place. And everybody that I was chilling with that was coming in also was like, man, what's the fucking smell? It smells like fish. And so at first, I didn't even think it was coming off a person, because that place used to uh, leave the food on the counter. So like, if I ordered uh, fish and chips, they would leave it at the bar until I went to go get it. Let's say I was playing a tournament match, I can't get it right away. So I figured like there's fish lying around or it's in the garbage or something rotting overnight but it was so strong that I had to look around and when I looked around my other friend was looking with me and he actually made a lap around the room and found the source from a person and by this point in the tournament it's about halfway through people are complaining that it fucking smells people are not going to that side of the room to play friendlies people are not happy and even the staff is complaining that it smells to the TO and so the TO takes the guy aside who we've we found we pinpointed and pulls him and says like you know you have to take a shower you have to leave people are complaining and the kid looks super embarrassed and it was the T.O. handled it well but it was pretty sad you know because this guy came with a bunch of friends and like it's like no one's ever told him that he smells this bad that I can smell him from across a big room. Looking deeper into this perhaps the reason Smash players have a reputation for being so foul is that just like their gameplay they're simply following in the footsteps of some of the greatest and most idolized players to ever touch the game. <laughs> The massive unit you see in front of you is Mango. Working his way to the top of most tournaments and rivaling the best to ever play, Mango dedicates himself to Smash, so much so that the moisture content in his hair rivals that of an Amazon rainforest. Speaking of nature, 
he is often seen in his wild habitat gorging on some sort of fat-filled, calorically dense feast, followed by a beer or four. However, according to an anonymous tip, Mango amazingly does not have any foul odor emanating from his body at tournaments. Therefore, Mango is merely known as the Beast for his unkempt and messy menagerie of manliness. Gushing out of every pore of this man's face paints a picture. A picture of one of the most sweaty Smash players of all time. His name is Hax, his game is Wax. Some Smash theorists believe the sheer amount of calories burned from the cognitive demands of spamming a bunch of stupid fucking buttons every match leads to the immense deluge of sweat that comes out of every pore. Therefore, Hax is known as the Geyser. Picture a local Smash tournament. Now picture it filled with naked Instagram models all crowding around one player. That player is Mewtwo King. Known for regularly having obscene s**ks at Smash tournaments, even while playing, Mewtwo King does not give a fuck what anyone around him thinks or how gross it can be to see this level of s**k intercourse. Nobody wants to hear the loud moans and smell of all that sweat in the air. For this reason, he is known as Mewtwo King loves to f It's hard to say exactly why Smash players smell so bad. Perhaps the focus required to play the game creates a sweaty situation. Maybe Smash fans love the game so much that they don't have time to focus on their personal hygiene, instead solely dedicating their lives to their craft. But one thing I have learned in life is that you can either be a sweaty Smash player or a person who knows how to use a stick of deodorant. It's one dollar. Come on, any store. Editor's note. In lieu of recent events during Pound 2019, my deepest condolences go out to Hungrybox, who was viciously attacked by a lifeless crab thrown onto the stage by an attendee. A deeper question arises here that I'd like to pose to you, the viewer. How is it, you think, that this large, dead crab was hanging in a man's pocket, presumably for hours in preparation for this targeted harassment? And yet, the salty stench of this dead crab was able to go undetected? How is it that such a pungent smell was able to be masked so well? One might even go as far as to say, the poor hygiene within the Smash community was a major factor in allowing this perpetrator to get away with the crab incident. Yes, I did it! I'm the best Smash player in the world! <laughs> Who threw this at me? Giant enemy crab. Giant enemy crab attack its weak point for massive damage. 